everyone, and welcome to the webinar, One Step Ahead, How Probe Drilling and Probe Routing Can Make Your Project a Success, presented by Dennis O'Fiara and Sandra Log. I'm Desiree Willis, and I'll be moderating the Q&A throughout the presentation and at the end. With that, I'd like to turn it over to our first speaker, Robin's Chief Engineer, Dennis O'Fiara. Hey, welcome everyone, and thanks for attending. Cinder and I will do this presentation uh, round robin. Uh, we're going to describe applying TBM uh, drills to TBMs for reconnaissance and probe drilling and grouting, pre grouting ahead of excavation. Uh, this isn't anything that's so new. It's been done quite a long time ago on early TBMs, but we're constantly trying to apply it in a better way and improve the process. We'll focus on applying drills effectively on TBMs so that drilling can be done in a routine and efficient way. We won't focus on the grouting materials or the grouting equipment. There's a lot of other experts that know that, that field better than we do. Uh, we'll describe drilling primarily on rock TBMs, but a lot of this will also apply to mixed ground. and soft ground TBMs. It could be especially important in mixed ground TBMs to consolidate the, the ground and help the machine get through these difficult ground conditions. In soft ground, it's use, useful to, to stabilize, uh, avoid settlement in critical areas, also to pre, uh, create a safe haven if intervention in the cutter net is necessary. I'll turn it over to Sindra, and he'll describe uh, some of the reasons for pre-injection and some of the technical aspects, uh, geological aspects. So, um, what we're going to talk about basically is the uh, uh, outline of the whole thing. It's um, we're going to sort of uh, kind of like a triangle. We're going to start very basically with uh, uh, discussing the rock mass, basic geology about why we want to fill drill and pre uh go into how we, we're doing it from a principal point of view and then specialize more into TBMs with um, uh, future developments, how it's done now, and case studies before we conclude it all. First, um, understanding the rock mass. Um, that's pretty much what we need to get an understanding of uh, why we do this. Uh, I'm sure most of you uh, attendees no price in geology, and that's probably why you attend as well. Uh, but anyway, it might be good to, to go through it. Um, the rock map is permeable and is continuous media. Um, in the nature of, of the rock map, um, it changes quite a bit. It can go from, from very solid to very fractured in a very short while. This, in this picture shown below is uh, from the website in Malaysia, where uh, for most cases, the rock is very solid, but some like changes and something like this. Because it's very deep material with, uh, with water as well. Um, this, this changes all the time. Uh, it, in, in some geologies, it, it's very important to, to do pre investigations. Um, however, the pre investigations cannot 100% cover the geology experience at site, and that's why we believe it's very important to for the pre -grounds. Uh, this is a different definition which is trying to have later in the webinar. Uh, the gen uh, discontinuity is uh, a general term for any mechanical discontinuity in the rock mass having zero or low tempest strength. The college is terms for most types of joints, weak bedding planes, weak shots, rocky planes, weak stones, and faults. All rock masses consist of um, systems of discontinuities and also randomly placed discontinuities. These, these two fluids will take a degree uh, beside the properties of the rock, both from a rock support point of view, but also from a penetration point of view, uh, and sort of life, obviously. Uh, it varies in very many rock mass. Sometimes you have fractures or, or fissures, uh, very, very close spacing, but sometimes you have many meters uh, between them. 
also the the content of the joints of what to say in this regard. There are many different uh, ways to quantify the discontinuities in the rock mass. The most common ones are, are Q-Meta and the RMR, just to, to have something to hang it on. Uh, when looking further than the discontinuities, the second biggest term is to influence on, on the water and uh, the need for probing and pre grouting is the permeability of the rock. Uh, basically, the uh, the water content, how it flows in the rock mass. There's a couple of things uh, in sensing on it. Um, obviously, how much discontinuity there are, uh, the nature of them, the content, how wet the rock mass is, the porosity, and in general, the rock properties. Another very important thing is also the, the groundwater level and uh, what's about. If you look at the picture, which I'm uh, borrowed from Holster uh, Hogman, Scott, and Garsel, <coughs> excuse me, uh, it shows pretty good, uh, it illustrates pretty good how, how rock mass could look like. The reason why we want to probe go is to try to understand how these structures uh, and joints are distributed and how the permeability and the, uh, of, of the rock mass is. Then, for pre routing we want to consolidate and stabilize the weak ground, reduce uh, the permeability of the rock mass. Uh, and also, if you have very high water pressures, you want to, to reduce it to, uh, to a level which is manageable. Personal pre routing is a very good insurance uh, for going into the, into the rock mass you don't have to to encounter the geological problems at the face. Even though um, the investigations done in advance of projects can, can do a lot, it's never 100% uh, thing. Just some uh, some examples on, on why we want to probe the one free house. Uh, here's from the Carnegie project in, in um, Iceland. If you have very if you encounter situations like this where you have high water pressure in the tunnel, uh, you probably need to start puff scrapping, which is a procedure which is, could be extremely expensive and don't have the same odds for success as the, the free grafting done. If you successfully pre grafted, you would be working in more, in more or less dry material instead of. Uh, Sour situation. Uh, another big advantage is to detect and consolidate the ground prior to excavation uh, to avoid situations like this from uh, Belagonda in India. You can see we have uh, material flowing into the cutter head. You see the, uh, the steel structure of the cutter head uh, right there. Um, this costs a lot of downtime on the machine, uh, and it's manual labor to clean it out. It's not a uh, situation you want to be in. It also causes uh, adverse working environments in the tunnel, dangerous situations as we want to, uh, to the right, which is also uh, from Belaganda, which can cause uh, Situations like this can cause damage both from personnel and equipment, as uh, you can see on, on the left side from from uh, Iceland. It's obviously a big safety aspect in this. <coughs> Last main reason to, to, to control the water uh, in situations like this. Um, Usually you can see from the media that you get more attention for, for things like this than you do for a successful job and for, um, for the industry it's very important to avoid situations like this. And at least strongly believe that pre grouting and pro can to help avoid situations like this. The reason why we want to promote pro and pre grouting as well is um, 
And if we look at the trends in the global funding, we see that more and more projects are um, in urban and sensitive environments. Um, obviously, a lot to do with metros, but also uh, infrastructure in close to cities. There's more and more focus uh, on the impact of the external environment. Tunneling is, is uh, even though well, we believe it's, it's extremely important, it's just a, uh, a part of the rest of the society. Um, we can also see that there's a very big focus on the tunnel quality and the life cycle costs of the tunnel. And Robin Strong would believe that um, building and green rocking combined with uh, with uh, concrete segments or, or other other solutions is the best way to get the highest tunnel quality. The last part is, is uh, working environment, especially in, in Europe, America, is uh, much more focused on the working environment in the tunnel. And then the, for, the, for that reason, you want to avoid the uh, uh, water ingress and into the tunnel. And obviously, uh, it's very important to, to, to keep uh, the ground level, the, the groundwater at the, at the same level to avoid settlements in urban areas. So, to summarize, why we want to probe drill and pre drought is to uh, detect and treat geological challenges, including high water ingress prior to excavation to improve the uh, tunnel quality and the reduced cost. And obviously, that also want to reduce the impact of this external environment. And it's time for another uh, poll question before I um, continue with the fundamentals of probe drilling and pre-grounding. And while everyone's answering that, Sandra, we have our first question. How much experience do you have in the TBM industry? Okay. Um, I'm, uh, I have a master's degree from the University of Trondheim, uh, and I've been working for uh, Robbins for um, close to three years, working on projects uh, around the world, including projects in China, India, and Malaysia. And most topics related to, to geology. The next, uh, now we're going into probable pre grouting how it's done. Um, try to make it pretty fast so, so we can talk more about uh, more TBM related. Uh, probably is typically done 20 to 40 meters ahead of the tunnel face. Uh, what you want to do is, um, as I mentioned in the last part, uh, you want to identify the discontinuity system in the situation in front of the cutter head. This relates to the, uh, the fracturing, the permeability, uh, and the stability of the rock mass that you're prepared before going into the rock. On the basis of the results you get from the probe drill, you, you want to pretend it into a geological model. Um, Example you see here is uh, it's an old example from a Norwegian subsea tunnel, uh, which which basically tells you that you don't need uh, extreme amount of probe uh, probe uh, holes uh, to get impression on the, on the rock. Uh, the number of holes you want to do to, to probe is usually be, uh, decided uh, prior to the project based on the investigation. Um, after you've done your probing, you have a couple of choices. You can either continue probing, you can start grouting, or you can take this advance with your, your TBM or your blast equipment. Uh, usually you have a preset uh, procedure on when you analyze the results from from the probe drill. Uh, if you get certain 
Thank you.